Just in, Tinubu declares major war on bandits, orders mil ministers' military chiefs to relocate to Sokoto State. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for tuning in and listening to this headline that we got in this morning. Well, coming to my deck this morning, says here that Tinubu declares major war on bandits, order ministers' military chiefs to relocate to Sokoto State. Well, well, in response to the escalating security challenges in Nigeria, in Nigeria's northwest, the federal government has instructed the Minister of State of Defense, Dr. Bello Metawale, along with key military leaders, to relocate to Sokoto State. Well, this tra strategic move is aimed at intensifying efforts to combat the persistent threat of banditry, kidnapping, and terrorism in the region. The directive was confirmed through a statement released by Dr. Henshaw Ujubikwe, Director of Information and Public Relegation at the Ministry of Defense. The government decision underscores the unwavering commitment to restoring peace and stability in the Northwest, an area severely impacted by the activists of criminal element. During his time in the region, Dr. Metawale will oversee military operation and ensure that notorious bandit leader Belo Truji and his gang are neutralized. These criminal bandits have been circulating videos of a Nigerian military armored vehicle that was stuck in a water lodged area. At late in the night, the officers were asked to withdraw to avoid being ambushed by bandits later in the night. The bandits went to the water lodged area recording videos of the armored vehicle that was stuck and celebrating it. The incident happened in Kawabushi Zomu local government area in Zamfara state. This is not acceptable as President Bola Tinubu has been giving great support to the armed forces of Nigeria. The federal government is deeply concerned about the persistent threat posed by banditry and terrorism in the Northwest particularly, and so we are ready to, de to deploy all necessary assets to ensure that these criminal elements are flushed out and peace is restored to our community, Meta said. He added that there was the urgent need to move against the terrorists to enable people to move freely. The time is up for these bandits and terrorists as increased and consistent operation will weaken their bases. I believe my presence in the Northwest will ginger our armed force, he also said. Meta Ole further assured the people of Sokoto, Kasana, Zamfara and Kebi states and the entire Northwest region that the security forces would leave no stone unturned in flushing out the bandits. I will be on ground in the Northwest with the CDS and other military ships leading our brave men and women in uniform. I also call on residents of this state to remain vigilant and cooperate with the security forces as the federal government has resolved to protect the lives and properties of all Nigeria. The security and well-being of all the people remains the government's top priority, the minister added. And that is all we have for you concerning this headline today this morning, which says here that just in, Tinubu declares major war on bandits, orders his minister's military chiefs to relocate to Sokoto state. Well, you had it for me this morning, and if you're not a subscriber, the best thing you can do right now, listen to me, is to tap that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, leave a like on this video to get more updates concerning this in the nearest future to come. Well, going further, it is about all this insecurity problem that Nigeria as a whole is actually facing as, as at now, and concerning what recently happened in Sokoto State, seriously, that was so drastic. You can see this bandit destroying a bulletproof um army vehicle and killing the military inside and still celebrating it in a video that they posted on tiktok that is virally vir vir going like it's seriously going viral right now and in response to the escalating um, challenges in sokoto state the federal government instructed the minister of state of defense who, who goes by the name dr billy metawale with key military leaders that all of them they should pack their safe they should relocate to sokoto state to go and face what is happening there because enough is enough we cannot be losing our mains every day we cannot be losing our civilians every day because of what because of all these stupid people yes this is the present brave brave move and according to the minister he said that he's going to do his best to lead the military in the right way and say that they're not going to leave no stone on turn they're going to like they're going to like we're going to turn the whole state upside down if, if, if that's necessary to flush out all these bandits because enough is enough you cannot, be, you cannot be waking up in the morning and the first thing we see on the headline of the newspaper is bandit killed this, bandit do that. But it's, it's, it's so annoying. It's, it is so annoying. Like, seriously. The government decision underscores its unwavering commitment to restoring peace and stability in the Northwest and some areas severely impacted by the activities of criminal elements. That is all what the government is all about. Peace and stability. 
And I pray they should work and I pray they should get that responsibility they want for the whole northern part of Nigeria, not just the northeast, not just the northwest, the whole north, because the whole north is under fire right now concerning banditry. Yes. And Dr. Billy Mita Wallace says that his presence may ginger the uh, our, our personnel on uniform. He's talking about the army, he said it may ginger the army and, and he will make sure that he motivates them, do his best as a minister to make sure that all these banditries also stop. Seriously, Nigeria, we, we, Nigeria, right? We, we, we are supposed to be better than this as at now. Seriously, all this banditry should be an it should be a new, a an old news. It should be an old news. Like seriously, I I just hope you guys understand, and I hope you guys understand how drastic this old bandit situation is. But looking at the comment section right here, Rachi Mustafa says that. Now still the poor go suffer arm, so make things easy first. Let things calm down, then even the crime will reduce. Not even human being can withstand the depression. It can destroy someone's life. That is what our government is putting us into depression. Doesn't mean you are depressed. Doesn't mean you carry a gun and be killing people. Yes. Doesn't mean you are depressed. Doesn't mean you carry guns to be killing people and be causing insecurity. No, depression is not an excuse. To be a bandit, the person, the person is not an excuse to be a terrorist. Okay, Michael Amos says that would the government make such law when some high-profile government officials are financiers of terrorism, banditry, and kidnapping? Those people who are also financing terrorism and banditry will also know them. We have some of their names, but due to security reasons, we can't disclose them as at now. Yes, we'll start, they will, like like they always say, the Kasala will soon boss. They will soon be exposed. We will soon know them, and they will soon know us. Yes. Every day for the thief, one day for the owner. Every day for them, one day for the re indigenous of Nigerians. And Mikey Imo says that now, so all day, all day, Abubakar Ahmed head has still hit the nail on the head. Kudos to him for that in depth analysis. Don't understand what I'm saying, but what do you guys think? Drop a comment in the comment section. Don't forget to leave a like on this video. Then tap the subscribe button as we go on with the notification bell. So that anytime I have a new video, you'll be the first to get notified about it. Once again, thank you all for tuning in and have a wonderful day ahead of you.